Uh, I've been stuck in the ocean for so long. Hopefully I can find some help soon and... <gasps> Wait, is that another boat? Maybe I can ask these people for help. Let me just climb up this ladder really quick up to the boat and... Uh, wait a minute. Are those dragons? Ah, uh, this boat is so nice. Not a single human around. Uh, uh, wait, what does she mean by that? I know, right? If we ever see any humans around here, we gotta use our fire breath on them. Uh, uh what the? Oh, no. Uh, what do I do? I don't want to go back into the ocean again. Hey, who are you? Ow, ow. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, how's it going? What are you doing on our boat, human? Uh, uh well, uh, come on, guys. I was just, uh, you know, boating around and I was kind of lost in the ocean. Mm, I guess I am a little bit hungry. Maybe we should just eat him. And, uh, what? No, no, guys, don't eat me. Leave me alone. And, uh, wait, hold on. Why is your boat on fire over here? Uh, uh, there was a little bit of a mishap. Uh, one of us burped a little too loud. Yeah, what's it to you, human? Uh, uh, well, I'm not gonna lie. Your boat kind of looks pretty garbage. How about, uh, I'll help you guys fix your boat, but, uh, you guys don't eat me. Um, hmm. That sounds like a good deal, but, uh, you better be good or we're gonna eat you. Yeah, if you don't fix up our boat to perfect shape, then uh, you're getting fire breath. Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I'll fix up your guys' boat to top perfect shape. Okay, but uh, anyways, the first thing we should probably do is get rid of this fire. I, I don't think having fire on your boat is a good idea. And uh, guys, you've literally got a leak over here. Yeah, well, we didn't have time to fix it, so you fix it. Okay, okay, well, here, I'll fix it. This is actually pretty easy to fix. All we gotta do is just grab a sponge really quick, and let's just go ahead and sponge up this water. There we go. And uh, guys, we should also patch up this hole. I don't think you should just have a hole in your boat. Uh, yeah, we know that now. Here, let's just go ahead and patch that up really quick. There we go. And hey, check it out. This is looking so much better, right? Um, yeah, I guess it looks good, but, uh, you need to keep going. And, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, the next thing we should probably do is get rid of all of these charred blocks over here. You guys gotta be careful with where you fire breathe. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Uh, yeah, and we weren't being careful. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Here, let's just repair all of this. There we go, and, all right, there, check it out. This boat is looking much better now. All right, um, let's see if this is flammable. Can you do the honors? Oh, yeah, and let me check this out, and, oh, I'm not getting anything. Yeah, this is really good wood. And, yeah, guys, See, I just made your boat a lot better. Anyways, can I uh, stay on your boat now? I kind of don't have a place to stay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, uh, no, you said upgrade, not repair. Uh, no, I said repair. I did not say I'll upgrade your boat. Well, uh, the only way we're letting you stay here is if you upgrade our boat. Yep. What? Okay, well, upgrade the boat. That should still be pretty easy. Hmm, okay, well, what do you guys want in your boat? Mm. I want something to eat because I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, me too. I want some human meat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Slow down there. Slow down there. We are not eating any humans anytime soon. But wait, you said you're hungry. How about we make a kitchen? That could be pretty good. All right, well, where are you building this kitchen? Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Where should we build this kitchen? And wait a minute. Do we have room underneath the main deck of the boat? And oh, wait, guys. Why don't we build it down here? Ooh, okay, let's see what you cook up with. Yeah, here. You guys help me out. The first thing we got to do is clear out a bunch of space down here because uh, there's a lot of unnecessary blocks here. All right. Well, now that it's empty, uh, what are we doing for the kitchen? And, hmm, let's see, let's see. Well, what type of food do you guys like? Um, cooked meat. And, yeah, I figured because you guys are dragons. So, uh, let's see. What about some, uh, steak? Does this sound good? Mm, sure, but is it fresh? Mm, I kind of just pulled it out of my inventory. I don't know how fresh it is. But, look, we can just put down a bunch of barrels over here with a bunch of steak inside of it. Mm. This doesn't smell fresh to me. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm not getting freshness. I, I need fresh meat. And what? Fresh meat? Okay, well, uh, how about instead of having a steak inside of a barrel, we can have some cows. Ooh, that sounds gourmet. Yeah, that sounds really excellent. Yeah, 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 guys. These cows are gonna be super fresh. Here, let's just go ahead and cover up this floor over here real quick, and we could just have an entire section off over here filled with a bunch of cows. And, oh, wait, we also need to grab some of these fence gates, and let's just eat those right over here like that. And check it out. Now you guys can just go in there and cook them yourself. Ooh, this is nice. Yep, let's go. This is awesome, isn't it? Ooh, this is delicious. Wait, uh, they're all gone now. And Oh, wait, that is kind of a problem. But wait a minute. I have a pretty good idea. Let me just grab a few dispensers really quick. How about we just put down a few dispensers over here like this all across this room and then inside of them we could fill them up with a bunch of cow spawn eggs. Ooh, does that mean we get unlimited cows? Yep, you guys are gonna get the freshest meat possible. Alright, but uh, how do we activate them? Can we just put buttons down? Hmm, we could put buttons down but then you'd have to, like, press a button each time you want to get a cow out of each dispenser. What about we have one button to activate them all? Oh, uh, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, well, don't worry. I got it. I'm a pro builder. All we gotta do is just put some repeaters over here like this. Let's just connect up all of these dispensers together. And, all right, now let me grab a button really quick. And just put that down right over here. And, all right, here, uh, would one of you like to try doing the otters? As soon as you hit that button, it should activate all these dispensers. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this. Ready, three, two, one, here we go. Let's go. And, whoa, check it out. 
what? That worked perfectly. Oh, that Ooh. was cool. Yep, now you guys can get literally unlimited food. Whenever you press this button, you can get a bunch of cows. Wow, human. I guess you're a little bit useful after all. And yeah, 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 guys. I'm very useful. Anyways, can I stay on your boat now? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know about that. I, there's still a lot more you need to do. The, the, like, whoa, what do you guys even want on this boat? Um, we're gonna live here, so obviously it needs to be more comfortable. Hmm, okay, okay. And yeah, I guess so. I mean, right now, do you guys even have beds here? Uh, no, we, we don't have anything here. Yeah, we kind of just bought the boat. Oh, I see. Okay, well, in that case, we should probably make some room for bedrooms. And oh, wait a minute, guys. Why don't we extend the boat to make it a lot bigger? Here, let me grab a magic wand really quick. What we can do is go all the way over here in this corner and select this position. And then let me also go all the way down over here in the opposite corner. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? And all right, all right, guys, check this out. I'm about to make your guys' boat much bigger. Let me just look this way and run the command slash slash move uh, 50. Whoa. Whoa, you just destroyed our boat. And, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I didn't destroy it. What I'm going to do now is just let me select this position here. And then let me also go down in the other corner and select this position. You better build fast, human. And yeah, yeah, I will, I will. Here, let me just look this way and run the command slash slash stack uh, 49. And boom, there we go. Check it out. Now your guys' boat is like super long. Whoa, okay. Okay, uh, now we've got a really long boat. Yup, now we've got a lot of room to work with. And here, the first thing we should probably do is get rid of all these random blocks here, because we don't need these. Okay, I'll get rid of some of these. There we go. And all right, now that we've got a bunch of room to work with, we can actually start doing some cool stuff. So here, I guess the first thing we should probably add are some bedrooms. So let's go ahead and build those now. Let's build like a little room over here out of a little bit of wood, just like this. Wait, uh, whose bedroom is this gonna be? And uh, hmm, I don't know, which one of you guys wants this bedroom? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but if it's mine, then uh, we're going to need to do different than wood because uh, I, I snore when I sleep and I, my snores are, uh, you know, fire breath. What? Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we can build out of something other than wood. What about some quartz? Yeah, his snores are pretty loud and destructive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In that case, I think these quartz blocks should be pretty good. Let's just go ahead and build a nice room over here like this. And here, we should probably make this room a little bit longer, actually. We don't want it to be too small. Yeah, I need some room to actually, you know, uh, sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let's... Let's go ahead and just build a nice room over here like this. There we go. And then here, we also got to build a roof. So let's go ahead and put a bunch of quartz on the ceiling as well. Okay, I'll start building the ceiling. All right, there we go. And okay, nice. This is actually looking pretty good. And here, I was thinking we could just have a door right over here on the side. Mm, okay. All right, but anyways, now that we got the room done, the next thing we got to do is actually deck out the interior. So uh, here, I guess the first thing we're going to need is a bed. So let's see. What's your favorite color? Uh, orange, I'm guessing? Uh, no, yellow, yellow, yellow. Uh, yellow, okay, okay, here. We can grab some yellow beds and, oh, I see you already put them down and, ooh, wait a minute. Why don't we also add some glass to this room? That can make it look a lot more open. Glass? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of glass right over here like that. Nice, now you can get like a nice view of the ocean. Wait, that does look nice. I'm surprised. I'm also gonna put a chair here so I can sit here and watch the ocean. <laughs> oh, nice, fair enough. That looks pretty good, but uh, anyways, is that everything you need in your bedroom? What? No, this is nowhere near. I need a kitchen. And, uh, uh, what, a kitchen inside of the bedroom? How about we build a separate room for the kitchen. I, I, no, I, I need it, like, right here in my bedroom. Oh, uh, yeah, he kind of gets kind of hungry. And, hmm, okay, but wait, didn't we already build a kitchen over there, like, downstairs? Well, he kind of eats humans in his sleep sometimes, so... What? Yeah, and that's way too far away. I need something that I can get up from my bed and grab something to eat. Or do you want to be the emergency food? Uh, uh, no, no, I do not want to be the emergency food. Okay, how about we make, uh, let's grab some chests and stuff. We can have, like, a little chest over here with some, uh, pre-cooked food. How about that? Uh, Pre-cook? No, that's not gonna cut it. I need something fresh. What? Okay, okay. Well, uh, hmm, what can we do here? And oh, wait a minute, I have an idea. How about we grab some stairs and we can make a second floor to this room. We can have the stairs go down over here and we can have like another uh, animal cooking sensor down here. Okay, you're talking my language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be pretty awesome. Here, let's just go ahead and build a wall over here like this. There we go. We can have a small little room here. We don't need to build it as big as the last one. And here, let's also grab grab a few more dispensers, and uh, you think one dispenser is gonna be enough? Uh, what? No, I need at least two. At, what? At least two? Okay, okay, fine. We can put another one over there like that, and then let me put a block of quartz here with a button on it, and now let me grab a repeater, and we can just connect both of these together. Is this going to work? And, oh, the wait, wait, hold on. I think I did this wrong. We have to move the repeater over here, and then we have to move the dispensers here like that. There we go. This should work. Okay, this looks pretty good. Where are you gonna put in them? What about some more cows? We can just put a bunch of cow spot eggs over there like that. What? No! 
I don't want more cows. What? Okay, well, what type of mobs do you want? Mm, let me take a look. What do we have? Mm, let's see, let's see. What do dragons like eating? Ooh, do you guys like horses? What? No, ew. I, that, <gasps> I got it. What about this? Axolotl? Do you guys like eating these things? <laughs> Yummy! Whoa, what? The? Okay, okay. Be careful with your fire breathing. Don't get that on me. Uh, But, okay, I guess we can put some of these inside of the dispensers. Ooh, yum. I might want one of those, too. What the? Okay, well, anyways, we've got an axolotl spawner over here. You guys can uh, eat axolotls from there. And, all right, is that everything in your bedroom? Mm, I guess for now it's all right. All right, human. It's time to build my bedroom. And, yep, yep, yep. Let's go build your bedroom now. And here, up. do we need to build your bedroom out of quartz as well? Or can we just use some wood? Mm, quartz, please. All right, all right, quartz it is. Here, let's just go ahead and build a big room over here like this. We can just pretty much build the same thing as the other room. Hey, why is my room smaller? And, wait, is your room smaller? Hold on, let me take a look at... Oh, yeah, wait, it is a little bit smaller. Okay, hold on. We can extend that. Let's just extend it over here like this. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, how come my room's smaller now? Wait, what? Is your room smaller? And Oh, uh, okay. Wait, did you guys really want me to make them both like the exact same size? Yeah, so we're not fighting. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Here, let me count how long your bedroom is. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks. Okay, okay, here. Uh, we can make the other bedroom eleven blocks as well. Let's just put down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks. There we go. Okay, nice, nice. Now it's perfectly even. Mm, okay, well, what's gonna be on the inside then? Well, here, the first thing we gotta do is set the roof again. So let's just put a bunch of quartz blocks over there. And then let's also put down some doors. So pretty much we can just go here and put down some more doors right over here like that. And all right, let's see. Uh, what do you want inside of your bedroom? Mm, well, I definitely need a big bed. And ooh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And hold on a minute. What's your favorite color? Is it purple? That's kind of my favorite color too. No, it's magenta. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I guess we can use some magenta. Let's put that down over there like that. And ooh, wait, we also got to grab some more glass. We got to put some glass on the walls here as well. That can make it look really sick. Okay, all right, cool. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, uh, is that everything for your bedroom? Uh, no, we need decoration. I want flowers. And oh, uh, you want flowers? Okay, I, I guess we can do that. Let me just grab some flower pots really quick. And oh, yeah, yeah we can just put some flowers down over there like that. How's that looking? And wait, what, why can't I put a flower in this? Oh, there we go. I don't want these flowers. I want different flowers. What? Okay, what type of flowers do you want? Um, I don't know. Choose different ones. What the heck? A flowering sparkling leaves? Uh, okay, uh, hold on. Let's see. What type of flowers are there? Uh, what about these? They're called aliens. Ooh, yeah, wait. I was just looking at those. Let's grab some of those. And, okay, how's that? Much better. All right, well, anyways, we've got the flowers. We've got the flowering sparkling leaves. Is there anything else you need in your bedroom? Mm -hmm. I want some paintings. And Oh, paintings? All right, I guess we can do that. Let me just grab some paintings. And we can just put those down uh, right over there. How's that look? What about this painting? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Whoa, wait, that doesn't look like a painting. It looks just like my dad. Yeah, it's a dragon head. Whoa, okay, that actually does look pretty awesome. But oh, wait a minute, guys, hold on. I think I know a way that we can make this even cooler. Let me grab a lever really quick and let me just go up over here. And if I put this lever here, will this work? And Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, I think I have to break down here and then put the lever. Check it out. Now the dragon head is moving. Whoa, cool. Ooh, and I think my room is done. Let's go. Wait, look at the head. It's going. Bah, 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 yeah, bah, that's bah, kind of bah, exactly bah, what it looks bah, like it's bah, doing. But bah, anyways, now that we got the bedrooms done. Ooh, wait, can I build a bedroom for myself since I'm going to be staying on here? I don't know about that yet. Uh, let's just keep uh, building uh, more to what? the actual mm -hmm. boat. Yeah, we can build your bedroom later if, if we don't eat you. Yeah, human. The what? Uh, okay, okay, fine. Well, the, what else do you guys need on your boat? I mean, this looks pretty decked out so far. We've got the bedrooms. We've got the cow eating air. Area, and, and we've also got the axolotl eating area. Mm, these are nice, but um, we need something that uh, we could use to exercise with. What? Exercise with? Like a gym? Yeah, fire breathing is like going to the gym for us. Yeah, we need somewhere to train our fire breathing. Ooh, okay, okay. So like a fire breathing training area. Uh, we can do that. Why don't we do it right over here? Okay, well, hurry up. Here, what we could do is just build a nice little fenced off area over here like this. And here, let me also grab a few fence gates. We can put those down right over here like that. And all right, here, the house. How far can you guys fire breathe? I, I can breathe pretty far. I hear there you go. Whoa, wait. Okay, yeah, that is actually pretty far. I guess we can uh, end it off right over here like that. And pretty much the way this is going to work, you guys have to go here and like stand behind this line and you have to try to like fire breathe a, a target over there. But hmm, what should we use for the target? Um, I don't know. I've never built a target before. Yeah, I always just eat people. Hmm, let's see. What can we use as a good target? And oh, wait a minute. I think I know what we could use. Let me grab some slime blocks and some pistons really quick. Let's just put this stuff down right over here here like that. And all right, guys, what about we make a moving target? We can use a slime block and the piston to shoot the target up in the air and then you guys have to try to hit it. Okay, uh, how do we do that, though? Well, it's pretty simple. Here, the first thing we gotta do is let's just have a little bit of redstone over
over here, connecting this piston all the way to a button over here on this side. Um, okay. Here, let's also go ahead and add a few repeaters here so that there could be a little bit of delay from when you hit the button and when you need to hit the target. Mm, all I right. I still don't know if I know how this works. It'll all make sense in a second. Here, let's just cover this up and put down a button right over there. That looks pretty good. And, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, no, let me grab some obsidian. We need to put obsidian around the slime block so that it doesn't pick up the surrounding block. So there we go. That is looking pretty good. And all right, nice. Why don't you try standing on that target? If you stand on it and I press this button, it should yeet you up in the air. Let's see. And hey, that Whoa! worked. Let's go. Well, that looks pretty flying, actually. Uh, why is it not coming back down? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think it's because of the fence over here. Let's go ahead and just replace that fence with some obsidian. And all right, let me press the button again. It should go back down now. Come on. And yes, that worked. But anyways, now the next thing we need to do is actually spawn in a target. And here, guys, I was thinking, what about we just have it spawn in a cow right before it launches? A uh, cow? Uh, what about something else this time? What about a, a pig? And ooh, okay, okay. I, I guess we can do pig. Let me just go ahead and have a little bit of redstone going up to this dispenser right over here like that. And okay, I think this should all work. Mm, okay, okay. All we gotta do now is just grab some pig spawn eggs and put those in right over there. And okay, let me test it out. Let me just press the button really quick. And okay, it should, wait. Uh, hold on. Wait, that did not work. Um, did you break it, human? And the, what? No, I, I didn't break it. I just didn't build it right. Hold on. I think what we have to do is put a block over here like that. And then we gotta have some redstone going up there. And wait, is this gonna work? Let me try this out. Let me press the button again. Come on. And <gasps> yes, that actually worked. That is awesome. Whoa, good. Whoa, wait, hold on. I wanna give this a test run. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, before you test it, let's just go ahead and cover everything up really quick. There we go. Let me quickly grab a slab. And here, we can just cover up this redstone with a slab like that. And all right, here, give this a go. Let's see. Is this going to work? I'm so ready. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Come on, come on. And now you got to hit it. And hey, you actually got it. Let's go. Yay. Woo but wait, hold on. You also lit a lot of this stuff on fire. We should probably replace these fences with something a little more fireproof. Ooh, I got the perfect idea. What? What about these? The nether brick fences look. They look so cool. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. Let's grab some nether brick fences and let's just replace all these wood fences with some nether brick fences. Here, we can also replace the fence gate with some of these crimson fence gates. Ooh, okay, this area is looking really nice now. All right, I guess this is acceptable. I want to give it another test run. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Let's see it work again. Come on, come on. Launches Woo! up the pig, and boom, let's go. Wow, that pig looks like it's having fun, Um, except for when it gets cooked. Incinepigoration. Let's go. All right, well, anyways, now can I build a bedroom uh, for myself? Uh, oh, no, uh, we still need a lot more stuff before you can build a bedroom. What? Okay, well, what do you guys need next? Hmm, well, this looks fun, but we need a place to relax now. Yeah, we need a dragon cave. And wait, wait, what? You, you guys want a dragon cave? You do realize we're on a boat, right? Yeah, but everybody needs a dragon cave. Uh, the, what, guys, we're literally on a boat. If we build a cave on this boat, it's gonna sink. Uh, no, not if you build it right. What? Okay, well, the, the, what do we build it out of? I guess the only way we can make a non-sinking cave is if we build it out of, like, wool or something. Uh, no way. We can build it out of, um... Let's see here. Netherrack, uh, rocks. Uh, uh what? Netherrack? Netherrack is gonna be so heavy. Okay, then do you have any better ideas? What about Blackstone? <gasps> guys, 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 what about some copper? Check this out. Look, it's so cool. And, uh, guys, these are all horrible ideas. If we build it out of copper or Blackstone, then the ship is gonna sink. Okay, then what do you suggest, human? How about we just build it out of wool? Because wool is super light. Okay, okay yeah, uh, wool's fine. Let me just, uh, you know, like, uh, demonstrate and, why we uh, can't use wool. Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess it burns. Hmm, okay, well, what could we use other than wool and oh wait a minute guys what about some reinforced wool it's literally just wool but stronger hmm, okay we could go with that yeah even if you set this on fire it won't get destroyed so i guess it's fine yeah i'm pretty sure this reinforced wool is actually as strong as obsidian so it should be really good and uh wait hold on guys we're kind of nearing the end of the ship should we make the ship a little bit longer uh yeah i think we're gonna need it yeah let's make it a little longer all right well here let me grab my wand again and let me go all the way out here in this corner and select that and and then, of course, let me also go down over here in the other corner and select this. And all right, guys, how much longer should we make the ship? How many blocks? Mm. 20. 20? Um, hmm, I feel like that might be a little bit low. What about 40? 40 sounds great. Ah, uh, too late. I already did it with 40. And okay, I think this should be a lot of room. We don't want to make the ship too long or else, uh, I don't know, if like a wave happens, it's going to like snap. Uh, no, if we build it right, we should be fine. I don't know about all that. But here, let's go ahead and fill in this empty part of the ship really quick. So there we go. That is looking pretty good. And all right, let's get back to building this dragon's den. So uh, how do you build a dragon's den? I've never really been in one before. Oh, it's pretty simple. Well, first we got to make it look like a cave. So uh, let's just do some like 
like this. And okay, okay. We could like have the walls going up like that. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, there we go. That's looking nice. And then we also got to make it like round. Oh yeah, it's definitely got to be round. All right, all right. If you guys say so. And ooh, wait, is the entrance going to be over here on this side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the entrance should be. All right, all right. Well, here, this is looking pretty good. Let's just go ahead and round off some of the corners. There we go. All right. And anyways, this cave is looking pretty good. Well, uh, is this it? Do you guys just want like a cave like this? Uh, no, we need to put stuff in here. Yeah, duh, isn't that obvious? And, uh, okay, that wasn't that obvious. I've never been in a dragon cave before, but, hmm, what type of stuff do you put in a dragon cave? Do you put, like, iron ore and stuff? I don't know. Uh, no, the, what in the world? The, stop it! What, dude, every cave I've been in has iron. Well, yeah, but you've never been in a dragon cave. We need fun stuff. Uh, okay, like what? Um, like these. And, whoa, wait, are these trampolines? Yep, uh, we always need to have a little bit of trampolines, but, um, I'll put it somewhere else where the ceiling is higher. And, yeah, I think that'd probably be a good idea, but, uh, hold on, is, is that it? You guys just have trampolines in your dragon caves? No! No, we need more stuff. Okay, but like what? Uh, fun stuff. The last cave that I was in had mini golf and it was pretty cool. Uh, uh, what? You had mini golf inside of a cave? Uh, yeah. Th th have you never been in a dragon's cave? Uh, no, I I've never been in a dragon's cave before, but uh, hmm, I guess we can build mini golf. We don't have a lot of room, so <gasps> wait, why don't we go downstairs? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah, we've got quite a bit of room down there, so why don't we just use some of these nether brick stairs to make a little staircase going down? And then we can build a mini golf area down here. How's that sound? Hmm, that sounds fine to me, but um, they better be good golf courses. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I know a thing or two about mini golf courses here. Let's just go ahead and build a wall right over here like that. There we go. And all right, I guess, ooh, let's also build another wall over here. Okay, this looks like enough room. And yeah, we can just use this entire area to build a mini golf course. So here, what do we need to build a mini golf course? Hmm, oh, how about we make a few holes? We can have like the easy hole be right over here. Let me just grab a hopper and we could use that for the hole. Okay. And then let me also grab a little bit of carpet and we could just put that down right over there like that. And then finally, let me grab a chest and then inside of it, I'm going to put a bunch of snowballs. These are going to be the golf balls. There we go. We could put down the chest right over there like that. And all right, pretty much what you got to do here is take one of these golf balls out of the chest and you have to try to throw it into the hole. Let's go. Um, your ball isn't moving. And oh yeah, hold on. That's kind of a problem, but wait, wait, hold on. What we have to do instead. Instead, let me grab a little bit of ice really quick. Let's grab some of this uh, reinforced blue ice so that it doesn't break since, we, you know, we're at the bottom of the ship. And what we got to do is just replace the floor with some of this reinforced blue ice. And then let's cover it up with some more carpet. And check it out. Now the ball can actually slide. Oh, awesome. Oh, wait, I want to give this a test right now. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it one. Let's go. And hey, I think you got it. Let's go. Let's go. Nice, but that was way too easy. And yeah, hold on. This is only going to be the easy hole. We got to make a medium hole and a hard hole as well. So why don't we have the medium hole over here on this side and hmm, what should we do for this? And oh, wait a minute. I think I have a pretty cool idea. How about we make the medium hole on the wall over here? Ooh, okay. How's that gonna work? This could actually be pretty crazy. Check it out. We can have uh, the hopper right over here and then we can have another piece of ice over there like that. And then what we gotta do is cover up this side with some quartz blocks. And then pretty much what you have to try to do is throw the ball over here and have it end up in the hopper. Ooh, that seems difficult. Yep, this one's actually Actually pretty tough. Hold on. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit of orange carpet for this one since it's the medium one. Okay. And we can just put that all over there like that. And all right, here, you guys should give it a shot. I want to go see if anyone can actually make it. All right, I'll try from right here. And uh, here you go. All right, all right, come on. And wait, did you throw it? I did, but I didn't get it onto the carpet. All right, well, I'm going to throw it. All right, here's my turn. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Come on, and, come on. Uh, oh, the way, uh, you, you weren't that close. Uh, yeah, I was. It, it, it's, it's right there. Wait, where? And oh, I see it. I see it. And uh, well, yeah, okay. You kind of got to make it go into the hopper. Wait, I, that, that's not possible then. Uh, well, I mean, it actually is possible. You have to do it in two hits. Well, how am I supposed to get in there to hit it again? Uh, well, it's pretty simple. Here, move out of the way. Let me show you guys. What you need to do is grab a fishing rod. And all you got to do is just fish the ball over. And yes, I think that went into the hopper. Wait, that, that's so weird. Well, how is that weird? That's normal golf rules. Do you guys not bring a fishing rod to your golf game? Uh, no, I only bring a fishing rod to my fishing game. Yeah, you're supposed to just use the golf clubs. Well, uh, this is my golf club here. I'm going to put a few of these fishing rods inside of the chest so that people can actually complete this hole. There we go. And all right, guys, now we got to build one final hole and we got to make it the hardest one of them all. So hmm, how do we make a hard hole? Hmm. 
Maybe a golf course that starts high but then ends low? And hmm, okay, okay, that could be pretty cool. <gasps> I have a cool idea. Why don't we build the golf course starting over here and we could have it go diagonal like this. Diagonal? Yeah, yeah, check this out, check this out. We can have it go like sideways just like that. There we go. Hold on, wait, is this even possible? Let me try throwing a ball right over here like this. Come on and whoa, okay, that's kind of tough to like keep it in line. Whoa, that's totally possible, but I think that this is the farthest it can go. Yeah, I think so and <gasps> wait a minute. I have a pretty cool idea. How about we make it so that once the ball lands over here, we can have a slime block on the floor so that it has to bounce on the slime block and then end up in a hopper over here. Oh my gosh. Is that possible? That sounds so difficult. I got no clue if this is possible, but I, here, someone give it a go. We need to find out. Uh, all right. I guess I'll give it a shot. Let me grab one of the golf balls real quick. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's see this. Let's see this. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Throw it. Come on. Come on. And oh, wait. Hold on. You almost had it. It didn't quite go off the ice yet. All right. There we go. I think I, I got a hole in two. That's good. Hole in two. That's not bad, but hold on. I got to try getting a hole in one. I'm pretty sure it's possible. I just got to line up my shot perfectly and yeet it. There we go. Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, let me try again. Let me just line it up and go. Come on. Come on. And Okay, that was horrible. Oh, man, human. You're not really good at this, are you? What? Okay, well, let's see you do it. <gasps> what? You're so close. And Wait, what? You got that with your first try? What the? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, here. I want to give it a go. And let's go. Let's see this. Let's see this. And uh, yeah, uh -huh. it got stuck on the ice again. I'm so close. One more try and I should be able to get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yeah. Let's see this. Let's see this. And, uh, uh, that did not go in. Okay, but anyways, I, I think it is possible. I think it's just really tough. We'll just wait for someone to do it. But here, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of red carpet for this one. And we can just put that all over the ice just like that. There we go. Ooh, that looks perfect. Let's go. But anyways, uh, is this good enough for the dragon cave? We've got the trampolines. You guys have chairs over there. And we got mini golf. Mm, I guess it's enough for now. Mm, uh, wait, I've got an idea. Hold on. Give me one second. Huh? And, uh, uh, okay. All right, let me grab this, and then we need, like, a little area. I guess, uh, mm, this should be good enough. And wait, wait, hold on. What are you gonna do? I am making a lava tub. And, uh, what? Ooh, this is so relaxing. You guys can just swim in lava like that? Oh, no. I mean, I can breathe fire, so it makes sense. Yeah, I, I guess it does make sense, but, uh, okay, okay. You've got your lava pool now. You got a trampoline, some chairs, and some mini golf. Is that good for the dragon den? Mm, yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Yeah, this is awesome. Let's go! All right, well, anyways, now that we've got a, a little target practice area here, we got the bedrooms, we got the dragon cave. Can I build my own bedroom now? No way. You are so impatient. No. What? Okay, well, what else do you guys want on your boat? Hmm. Well, I want a flying course. And wait, wait, what? A flying course? How's that gonna work? And we build something for us to fly through, dog. Oh, uh, wait, like, like a flying training course? Uh, okay, I, I guess I can do that. Yeah, we gotta train our wings to be big, strong dragons. Yeah. These bedrooms are kind of small. I need to stretch. Okay, okay. I, I guess we can build a flying area. And uh, hmm, how should we do this? Let me grab some more fence. How about we build another big area right over here with some fence? And hold on. We got to make this area big. You know what? Actually, hold on. We got to make it even bigger than this. Let's go ahead and start building with these fences on the sides of the boat over here. Ooh, I see. Okay. If you guys are going to be flying around in here, we're going to need a lot of space. So here, let's just have like a big room over here with a bunch of fence like this. Okay, I'm putting putting down a bunch of fences. All right, all right. And here, we got to build these fences going up. Pretty much, we can build like a big net. Oh, gosh. Can we make this super tall? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can build it pretty tall. Let's just build this fence going way up in the air. And hold on a minute. Guys, we can actually do this with commands. Let me select this position here. And then also go in the other corner and select this position. And now, if I look up, I can just run the command slash slash stack up. 25 and boom. There we go. Check it out. Now we got a big room. Ooh, that looks great. Yup, this is actually looking awesome in here. Uh, now, I guess the next thing we got to do is make this like a flying course. So uh, the first thing we got to do, let's uh, actually add some doors here to, you know, go in. We can add some doors on each side like that. And then let's also add some doors on the other side to get out of this place. And here, I guess the next thing we can do is let's grab a little bit of red wool and let's just build a few rings around this room, which uh, you guys can fly through. All right, perfect. Let's go. This is looking awesome here. We can have a bunch of rings going all the way up to the ceiling. We can have some rings going down too. Oh yeah, yeah. We can have like a few rings over here going like, uh, down like this so that you can like practice flying downwards, I guess. And then I'll make this ring super small. And oh yeah, you're right. You're right. We need some smaller rings as well for some like uh, practice for flying in small places, I guess. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And all right, uh, do you guys think there's enough rings? I think it is. Mm, uh, yeah, this should be enough. Ooh, all right. All right. Well, uh, I guess you guys want to test it out now. We can see if it's good. Let's see. And um, just through here. 
here. And oh, wait, you made it through the small one. Nice. Okay, and through this one and down a little bit here. Whoa, this is awesome. Let's go, but wait a minute. I have a pretty cool idea. This seems a little bit easy for you guys. You guys seem like pretty good at flying. Why don't we make this a little bit harder? Let me grab some lasers and check this out. We can put down a few lasers inside of the rings just to make it a bit harder. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, you know, it'll be more of a challenge. Ooh, cool. That's a bit dangerous, though. I, I, I'm in for it. Let's go. Yeah, here, we can just have a few lasers randomly spread out across the rings. So there we go, just like that. And pretty much you guys just have to try to avoid them. Okay, whoa, that was close. Be careful, be careful. And hold on a minute. I, I think this one over here is uh, kind of impossible to go through. I think we have to move the ring like up or down one block. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. There we go. All right, now if we fly through this, it should be a lot harder. I love it. Let's go. All right, well, anyways, uh, now can I build my bedroom? Oh, wait, we should also put some trampolines here just in case we need to uh, crash land. And oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and put those all across the floor over here. Sounds like a good idea. And uh, don't block the entrances. It's fine, it's fine. I'm pretty sure you can still go through the entrance. Yeah. Okay, and I'll put these down in this corner. There we go. Just one more trampoline. Boom. And all right, let's go. This room is looking awesome. But anyways, now that you guys have a flying training course, can I uh, build my own bedroom now? Whoa, this trampoline sends you flying. Whoa, okay, that is pretty crazy. But uh, uh, can, I, can I have a bedroom or what's going on? No, we still need to build more stuff, dude. What? Okay, well, what else do you want on your boat? We have so much stuff here. It's going to sink if we build too much more stuff. It's not going to sink. What? What do you mean? Yes, it will. Well, it's not not if you built it well. Are you saying that you built it badly? What? No, I built this stuff perfectly fine, but hmm, what else do you guys want? Uh, well, we're gonna need a place to go uh, when, you know, the time comes. What, uh, what, what does that mean? A bathroom, dude. Oh, oh, wait, you guys want a bathroom? Uh, uh okay, I, I guess we can build a bathroom and, ooh, wait, why don't we build it on the bottom floor of the ship? We can build it, like, right over here. Mm, okay, it's out of sight. That's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, we can have it be, like, hidden underneath on this deck of the ship and, ooh, wait, guys, we can call this bottom part of the ship, the poop deck. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's like a real thing on boats, but here, we can just have like a little staircase going down like that. There we go. And here, how about we just build the bathroom over here on this side? Okay, um, what are you gonna put in it? Well, you know, we're gonna need all the normal bathroom stuff, so here, uh, I guess we can build a toilet. Let me grab some cauldrons and some trap doors. And alrighty, guys, here is your new toilet. Check it out! Mm. That looks pretty bad. What? What do you mean bad? We, we need an actual toilet, not whatever that is. Uh, this is like the closest thing I can get to a toilet here. I guess I can also fill it up with some water. There we go. How's that looking? Uh, I guess that's a little better, but um, where's our sink? And uh Oh, your sink? Uh, uh, I guess your sink can be over here in this corner. Check it out. We can build it out of some of these trap doors, and we can put a water bucket down, and then we can use a lever as a faucet. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then what about a bathtub? Uh, uh, a bathtub? Um, I guess we can build that in this corner over here. We could just have, like, a few more trap doors over here like this. There we go. And hey, check it out. Look at the bathtub. Hmm. I guess that's acceptable. Hey! Oh, uh, uh, wait. I think you have to go in from this side over here. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, I can't. The roof is too low. Oh, um, well, in that case... Oh, let's just go ahead and replace this roof over here with some slabs. Yeah. There we go. Now you should be able to fit in. Ah, uh, this is pretty nice, huh, human? Uh, but listen, this toilet is not gonna cut it. Uh, they, don't you know that uh, dragons like us don't use normal toilets? Wait, what? You don't? Then No, I did not know that. How was I supposed to know that? Uh, well, the, what type of toilets do you use? Uh, well, uh, they have to be a bit more uh, spicy. Uh, what? Did you just put lava inside of it? Uh, okay, I guess that works. Plus, we can't even fit up here. And Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I guess that is kind of a good point. Okay, well, the, what type of toilet do we build? I've never seen a dragon toilet before. Well, first, we have to clear out a big pit for it. And, uh, okay. But wait, wait, hold on. We're just gonna have, like, a pit sticking out the bottom of the boat? Are you sure that's gonna be, like, good for the boat? Uh, yeah, it should be all right. Uh, okay. Well, wait, what if you're trying to, like, uh, you know, drive the boat, like, near a beach and it hits the ground? Uh, we'll just never park the boat. It'll just be in the ocean forever. Uh, okay. That sounds interesting, but I guess we can make a big pit. Yeah, we gotta make a nice big pit over here. All right, all right. And wait, is this deep enough? Can we start covering it up now? Uh, yeah, it should be deep enough. All right, all right. Well, here, let's go ahead and cover that up. There we go. And uh, I'm guessing the next thing we need is to clear out this water. Let me grab some sponges, and we could just sponge this whole place up. There we go. And, uh, wait, uh, we kind of have a leak here. Let me replace that stair with a normal block of quartz. There we go. Yep, there we go. And uh, now we gotta put, uh, 
some lava down here. Uh, okay, but there is a very big toilet. Are you sure this is uh, the what you need? Uh, yeah, this is what we need. We just need to, like, make a little guardian area over here. Uh, okay, okay. And then we can put a trap door and uh, some lever. And there we go. That should be good enough. And, oh, uh, uh, all right. Nice. And, uh, do I hear Did one of you just fell down there? Oops, that was an accident. Ah, uh, that was gross. Uh, okay, how about we add, like, a, some fences over here on the side just to make sure that no one falls in by accident. There we go. How's that? Yeah, that works for me. That works. All right, all right. Well, anyways, now that you have your little uh, the, the, the custom dragon toilet done, and now can I finally build my bedroom? Whoa, 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 whoa. This boat is still really unsafe. And what? Unsafe? What are you talking about? We have so much nice stuff here. We've literally even got these nice trampolines on the floor of the flight training course, so you can't even get hurt. Yeah, but that only um increases our chances of getting robbed. Wait, what? Getting robbed? Oh, is that what you mean by not safe? Uh, okay. Well, I, I, I don't see any pirates nearby. I don't think you're going to get robbed anytime soon. You don't know when the pirates will be nearby. That's why we have to build defenses now. And wait, you, hold on. You guys are literally dragons. You realize that you can just like fire breathe on the pirates and they'll be gone probably? Yeah, but they'll have us outnumbered. And plus sometimes we don't have fire breath working. Hmm, okay, okay. I, I guess we can build some defenses to keep pirates out, but hmm, what type of defenses could we build? And oh, wait a minute, guys. I got a cool idea. What about we build some cannons on the side of the ship? We can turn this into a pirate ship. Oh, okay. Now you've got my attention. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, guys. Here, what we could do is let me grab a few dispensers really quick. And all right, hmm, how should we do this? Should we just have dispensers going across the entire side of the ship? Mm, I think that's a good idea. You never know where an enemy ship might be. Oh, uh, okay. I, I guess we can do that here. Let's see. Where should we build it? Uh, hmm, let's build it down over here, I think. First thing we got to do is clear out a big line over here on the side of the ship for all of these dispensers. Okay, and uh, what do we want to put in them? I was thinking just fireballs. And Oh, wait, I made it to the end of the ship. Hold on, let me put these quartz blocks back. All right, um, like this? Here, let me see. And yup, that is looking pretty good. But here, the next thing we need to do is grab some repeaters. And what we need to do is just have a big line of repeaters like this. And then in between them, we could put down dispensers. Ooh, okay, this is looking awesome. Um, putting these dispensers down is gonna take a long time. So I don't wanna do it. So you do it. And the what? Uh, okay, okay, I'll do it. But hold on, I can do this with commands. Let me grab another magic wand. And let me select this position and also this position here. Here and now, if I look this way, I can just stack it this way. Let's go. There we go. Check it out. And uh, the way, hold on. I think I went a little bit far. Uh, it's fine. I think we can repair this. It's not that bad. Yeah, here. Let's just repair that. There we go. And all right, this is looking pretty good. But anyways, now we need an actual way to, you know, power this. So what I was thinking is let's just go over here downstairs again. And okay, hold on. Where does the dispenser start? I'm pretty sure the dispenser start right over here. Like, yeah, there they are. What we need to do is put down like a lever or something here. So let me just grab one of those and we can put down a lever right over here and now i'm pretty sure whenever we flick this lever it should activate all of the dispensers and oh check it out that is actually awesome but wait hold on why did it only activate the first dispenser i think it's because it's not powering the repeater hold on hold on i think what we need to do is uh let's just break this and put down a repeater there instead and then over here on the inside all we got to do to make it work is put the lever here and all right let's see is this going to work and oh check it out that is actually working perfect wait that looks awesome okay that actually looks crazy here guys the next thing we gotta do is copy and paste this over on the other side of the ship because like you said you never know where the enemy is gonna come from so here what we can do is just let me select this and then let me also go in the other corner here and select this and check this out now if i stand right over here and run the command slash slash copy i can now go over to the other side and then run the command slash slash flip and then slash slash paste and boom there we go we just copy and pasted everything to the other side whoa this looks awesome human yep i know i'm a a pretty good builder but hold on just a second there's also one last upgrade we can make to this we gotta connect both of them together and the way we can do that is by simply using some more repeaters and redstone let's just go ahead and grab a little bit of redstone and let's just put that all over here like this there we go and okay i think everything should be connected now if i activate this lever over here it should activate both sides of the dispenser so let's give this a go and oh check it out that is actually crazy whoa that actually is insane Hold on, hold on, guys. I gotta test something. Let me try spamming this lever real quick. Let's just give it a few spams like that. And whoa! 
Yeah, there's no way pirates stand a chance. Yep, I don't think there's gonna be any pirates trying to mess with you guys, but the final thing we gotta do is let's just cover everything up here. Let's make this area look a little bit nicer. So, uh, there we go. That's looking pretty good. And, all right, I think the defense system should be done. Wait, and uh, what if there was, like, a helicopter pirate thing? Uh, uh, what? Uh, what, what, what? Oh, yeah, we're not the only things that can fly. Yeah, like a helicopter pirate. A helicopter pirate. You think there's gonna be, like, a pirate on a helicopter that tries to rob you guys? Yeah, that sounds like a pirate to me. What? What have you ever seen a helicopter pirate before? Uh, I don't know, but you can never be too prepared. Mm, okay, okay. Well, I mean, you guys said it yourself. Can't you just, like, fly up and go, like, fire breathe on them? Yeah, but, like, what if there's, like, a hundred of them in the plane? And our fire breathing can run out, remember? I said that earlier. Mm, okay, okay. Well, in that case, <gasps> I have an idea. Why don't we build some archer towers? Ooh, okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, check it out. This should be pretty awesome. We can have, like, a few towers around the ship where you guys can, like, get up and shoot bows. So here, let's build the first one right over here. I'm just gonna build a nice little tower with some fences around it. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And all right, now what I can do is select all of this. And now if I look up, I can run the command slash slash stack 50. Boom. Do you guys think that's high enough? I think it's a little too high, actually. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, okay, here. We can undo this. Let me slash slash undo and let's do slash slash stack uh, 35 only. Yeah, that should be a lot better. I think that's perfect. All right, awesome. Well, here, the next thing we got to do is let's just build a nice little platform up over here to stand on. We can just build it out of some wood just like this. There we go. Nice. That is looking pretty good. And then we can put some oak fences around it like that. And then finally, let me grab a chest and just put that right over here here and then inside of the chest we can fill it up with our bows and arrows and whoa wait there's a lot of different types of bows wait hold on we got the normal bows crossbows electric bows and also the lucky bow Ooh, which one is the coolest i don't know hold on wait let's test these out let me grab one of each of these crazy bows and uh let me go down over here and spawn in a zombie we gotta see which one does the most damage let me just spawn it in right over here like that and all right here let's test out the uh normal bow first so that we can get a baseline and oh wait hold on i think the zombie is kind of uh dying uh, hold on wait let's push that guy in the water. Let's go downstairs and test this. Yeah, because I don't want him to burn in the sunlight. Yeah, let's just find a zombie over there. And all right, let's see. A normal bow takes an uh, the, the zombie, what are you doing? Why are you going out into the sunlight? You realize that? Okay, this zombie is actually kind of dumb. There's some skeletons over here. Wait, there is where? Hold on, we can test it out on them. On the mini goal. Wait, what? There's skeletons inside of the mini goal? Yeah, um, dragons and monsters are pretty good friends, so. And oh, all right, I guess we can leave them there. But here, let's test out the normal bow. Let me try this out. Let's see. One shot. All right, that's one, two shots. There we go. And three shots. Okay, it takes three shots to take out a skeleton with a normal bow. Now, we gotta test out the electric bow. Yeah, sorry, Skilly. We're gonna have to test out some stuff. On you. And out the way he's walking outside. Get back here, skeleton. All right, well, anyways, let's test out the electric boat. Let me try it out. It's gonna take one shot, all right, and then two shots, and then three shots. And oh, wait, that was just as good as a normal bow. Oh, so it's not that better at all. Yeah, um, let's try something else. Yeah, let's just throw the electric bow away. How about we try out the lucky boat? Let's just try spawning in a zombie down over here. And oh, wait, actually, hold on. We gotta spawn in a skeleton since that's what we were testing with. Let's spawn it in right over here. And all right, skeleton, you're about to go down. Take this. Let's go and okay that's one shot let's try again and okay that's two shots and all right let's try one more time come on take this and oh that's three shots that's not even that good uh what does the lucky bow even do i don't know this lucky bow is kind of bad it's not that lucky yet oh <gasps> Whoa, uh, what the? It just spawned water everywhere. What? What the heck? It just flood our dragon den? What the heck? Hold on, hold on. <gasps> wait a minute, guys. I'm pretty sure this bow has like a special ability each time you use it. Wait, wait. Let me go ahead and build a little platform off over here. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure this bow can do some crazy things. Let me go ahead and spawn in another skeleton over here on this little platform. And alrighty, skeletons, take this. I'm gonna hit him. Oh, he went into the water. Okay, that's fine. Let me hit him with the lucky bow. Take that. Come on. I just gotta keep hitting him until it does something. And whoa, check it out. Look, it just spawned in a obsidian on him that time. Oh, wait, it probably made lava. Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. We have to try this out more. Let me try hitting the skeleton more. Take this. Come on, you're going down, skeleton. And out the way. He's underwater. He's kind of hard to hit down here. Let me just aim like this. Come on. And whoa, check that out. He just wanted a bunch of mobs on him that time. What the heck? Okay, and whoa. Uh, you guys, did you see that? He just wanted a bunch of cobwebs on that spider. And it just wanted even more mobs. Oh, yeah, this is so cool. We definitely need these. Yeah, I think this is definitely the best bow. And yeah, okay, I think we should probably use this let's go ahead and break all this stuff that we built over here we don't need that anymore and all right now let's head up to the archer tower and put in one of these lucky bows let's go put it in put it in all right all right let's put in some of those lucky bows there and then we also need some arrows so let's get those in over there like that and boom there we go this archer tower is complete okay now i feel a little safer but um i would like to feel more safe 
um, with armor. And wait, wait, armor? You guys can wear armor? Uh, yeah, all dragons can. Mm, okay, okay, wait, what type of armor do you guys wear? Do you guys wear, like, horse armor or something? What? No, we wear normal armor. Uh, that, that stuff can fit you? No, wait, hold on, try putting on this. I, I, I can't fit in that. Yeah, this is for horses. Hmm, I don't know, horses and dragons kind of look similar, but I guess if you guys use normal armor, we can use normal human armor. Let's see, what type of armor can we grab and... <gasps> Whoa, wait a minute, guys, hold on. What if we use some of this mutant wither skeleton armor? Uh, mutant wither skeleton? I mean, that's all right. What about this mecha suit? armor. Wait, wait, what? Mecha suit armor? What is this? Whoa! I don't really care what I wear, as long as we put it down somewhere. Hold on, hold on, wait. Let me try putting this mecha suit armor on. This stuff looks kind of OP and... <gasps> Whoa, check this out! This thing looks awesome! It makes me look like Iron Man. Oh, wait. Does that help you do anything special? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me try spawning in a zombie. Maybe if I punch it, I'll do more damage. Let me just spawn it in right over here and take that. At... Okay, no, I, I think there's like normal damage. Okay, well, that's fine. You look pretty cool. And yeah, this armor does look pretty cool. And wait, how many armor does it give you an <gasps> whoa it gives you plus eight armor i'm pretty sure that's actually the same as netherite and what no netherite only gives you plus three armor okay this is way better than netherite all right well i guess mecha suit armor it is yeah let's go here let me take off this set of armor really quick and i guess let's go ahead and build an armory room downstairs let's go all the way down here and ooh, we can build it at the front of the ship and out oh, the way there's a skeleton here get out of here skelly all right but anyways let's see how do we build this armory room i guess we can grab some quartz pillars and let's just put those around oh over here like this. There we go. All right, but anyways, now, how do we build this armory room? I guess what we can do is grab a few armor stands, and let's just put those down over here like this. We can have one there. We can have another one there. We can have a bunch of backup sets of armor. Okay, all right. This looks pretty nice. There we go. And all right, now the next thing we need to do is grab some of this mecha suit armor, and now let's just put it on all of these armor stands. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this armory room looks sick. Whoa, okay, this actually looks so crazy and futuristic, but anyways, we're also we're gonna need some weapons in here so uh let's see let me grab a chest really quick and we could just put down a chest next to each armor stand like that there we go oh wait hold on we can't open this chest how about instead we use some barrels yeah we can put a barrel next to each armor stand so there we go that is looking pretty good and all right now we gotta actually put some stuff inside of them so let's see what type of weapon should we use mm. Well, we already have bows, so maybe some swords? <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. What about the lucky sword? I'm pretty sure this is similar to the lucky bow, except in, like, a sword form. Wait, let's see. Let's test it out. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. We definitely have to test it out. Let me go over to this chicken over here. And, all right, chicken, take this. You're about to... Uh, whoa! Did you see that? What was that? Was that lightning? That was awesome. That was actually crazy. Okay, hold on. We gotta see what other abilities this thing can do. Let me grab some zombie swine eggs and just spawn those in right over here like that. And, all right, zombies, take this. Let's go! And, okay, right now it's not really doing anything. It's kind of being lame. And, uh, wait, it did something there. I don't know what it did. Whoa, wait, did you see that? <gasps> what, did it just knock back all of them? That was actually pretty crazy. It just yeeted them all away. Okay, hold on. Let's keep using this. Let's see, what other abilities can this thing do? Come on! Come on, Lucky Sword. Show us some cool stuff. And, out oh, the wait, it just spawned in a bunch of smoke. Uh, I, I guess that's kind of cool. And, oh, wait, it just spawned in a bunch of water that time. Wait, hold on. I got an idea. Hand me the Lucky Sword real quick. Wait, what? Uh, okay, why? Uh, because I'm pretty sure I know how to make it better and wait wait what we can make it better yeah let me just put down a crafting table real quick and then let's surround it with some blocks of diamond and <gasps> yeah it says luck 100 now wait wait wait, wait. what luck 100 and <gasps> whoa wait a minute hold on did the other lucky sword originally have that and uh wait normally it's luck zero <gasps> wait a minute we gotta test this out is it gonna do even crazier things now take that and whoa we just want tnt whoa keep going keep going okay okay hold on hold on let's see what other stuff can it do come on take that and oh the way it splashed some potion on it let's try again and Oh, the more smoke. Whoa, we just died. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we gotta see what other stuff this thing can do. Let me spawn in a bunch of zombies. And all right, zombies, take this. And whoa, we spawned in arrows that time. It turned into a bow. Wait, I am loving this sword. What other stuff can this thing do? Come on, take this zombie. And oh, uh, okay, I gotta just spawn TNT. Oh, it just took out all those zombies. That is awesome. Wait, I'm pretty sure we can also do that with a bow. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. Let me go grab one of those bows from the archer tower up here. Yeah, go ahead and bring it over. All right, all right. Yeah, right now it is luck zero. Let me just bring it over here to you really quick and all right let's see we gotta make this thing luck 100 oh yeah i want a luck 100 bow and uh there we go i've got luck 100 on this now Ooh, all right all right let's see this let's see this and whoa this looks crazy all right guys we gotta test it out against the zombie let me just aim on this zombie really quick and take this come on whoa whoa wait that's actually cool he just obliterated that zombie okay that is actually crazy and uh wait guys what the heck it just like spawned in a trail of stone that time wait and uh, what was that that's weird that is pretty weird i think this one has different abilities than the sword 
sword and oh wait it's finding lava that time that's pretty cool let's see what other stuff can this thing do and oh whoa it's finding a charge creeper that time that is not that good uh wait is that a friend i don't know maybe it was friendly i kind of shot it but here let's just keep going how op is this thing and whoa uh they just broke a bunch of blocks there okay i think this thing is safe to say that it is very op and whoa what is that is that a meteor whoa it is give me one of those okay okay yeah hold on hold on let me go ahead and copy this uh, everyone take one of these op lucky bows we gotta go put these inside of the chest let's go let's just go ahead and eat a bunch of these inside of the chest over there like that and now we also gotta put some lucky swords inside of the armory too let's pull up over here and all right i'm just gonna put one of those in each one of these barrels let's go all right but anyways uh now that we have all the stuff in the armory room done uh can i build my bedroom uh, no you forgot something super important golden apples oh oh yeah yeah right right right. golden apples are definitely gonna be important for armor and <gasps> whoa wait golden apple cake check this out what why well, we use these i don't know i'm pretty sure you can just eat them and <gasps> whoa it just gave me a bunch of op effects okay those are definitely cool i guess we can eat some of those in the chests as well okay those will be super handy but we should have some regular golden apples too and yeah yeah we can just have a few regular ones as well and ooh, wait what about some potions as well we can have some uh ooh, we can have some swiftness potions uh we can have some jump boost potions a little bit of everything in here there we go that is looking pretty good and all right nice now that this barrel is filled let me go ahead and pick up this barrel and just put it down on all of the other barrels so that we can have a copy and paste and boom there we go now all of the chests are filled up with some op stuff uh, guys 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 check this out i found something awesome whoa, whoa whoa wait slow down hold on what did you find oh nothing just the most cool thing in the world check this out uh, what are those turrets <laughs> yep i found turrets oh my gosh oh, that is actually awesome we gotta put those all over the ship oh heck yeah oh yeah everyone grab some of these we gotta put these all along the side of the ship okay let's go okay okay this is actually pretty crazy i think this should definitely be enough to stop any pirates all right i'm done putting them on this side yeah those pirates won't stand a chance yeah guys i think you guys are the pirates now i don't think uh, there's gonna be anyone going after you Ooh, does this mean we get to find other people's treasure and rob them and, uh, no 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 uh, you should still be a good person but uh anyways now that we have all of this stuff can i finally build my own bedroom and stay on the ship mm, okay fine yeah you have done a lot to help us so i guess you can yeah you did a good job human and <gasps> let's go finally and okay guys i was waiting for this i'm gonna build my bedroom above both of your guys's and i'm gonna build mine uh double your guys' size wait what yeah come on i built like all of this i at least get a bigger bedroom mm, okay fine let's go okay okay here let me just build the floor of my bedroom over here really quick i guess i'll help with the walls and wait a minute hold on i didn't even get your guys' names this whole time what's your guys' name oh yeah uh, my name is cam i'm ruby Ooh, all right all right well my name is dash and here let's build this bedroom this bedroom is actually gonna be sick boom there we go all right boom there we go and all right here now i gotta deck out the inside and this bedroom is actually gonna be awesome um what are you going to put inside your bedroom dash human and uh the, hey you don't have to call me dash human you can just call me dash but uh hmm, let's see i guess i'll put a bed uh i don't know a desk i'll put down a few chests for storage and ooh, also an enchantment table why not an enchantment table yeah yeah that way i can enchant my gear ooh, all right we should definitely try driving the ship once you're done oh yeah good idea we definitely we gotta take this thing for a spin once i'm done with this room but here let me just build this wall over here i'm gonna build this entire wall out of a little bit of glass and i'll build a staircase to get up to the room and oh yeah good idea since this is technically on the third floor mm, what if i just put a ladder right here and oh yeah yeah a ladder should work that should be pretty awesome but anyways now it's time to deck out the interior i guess the first thing i'll need is a bed so let's put down some beds over here i'm gonna grab some purple beds and just put those over there like that let me also grab some of these bedside cabinets we could put one there uh yeah only one is good and then let's put down a desk right over here like that with a chair and finally i gotta put my enchantment table and ooh, i'm also gonna put a few bookshelves around here let's go there we go my bedroom is done and i'll put a baby gate here so you don't fall out of your room and, uh, uh what uh, a baby gate i'm not a baby um sure human i mean dash human the what oh my gosh okay well anyways this bedroom actually looks pretty awesome let's go yeah now we gotta take this thing for a spin and oh yeah yeah right here i guess let's hop into the captain's area really quick and all right who wants to drive um human you should do it i want to sit back and relax all right all right let's go here let me just hop over here and assemble the ship and uh guys what's going on are we moving uh i don't think so human did you break our ship uh, uh okay well anyways uh guys it was fun knowing you i think it's my cue to leave now uh see you guys did you just destroy our boat and then leave hey, get back you're not here going anywhere. get back here that was pretty crazy and if you want to watch the next video click on the video on the screen right now.